Hey, Diana, your favorite astronaut. Hi, dear astronauts. For me, it has been terrible. The scene conditions, the clouds, it's pretty much you have to be starting to do setup and everything after 1 a.m. So I did the, uh, several testings last night, and I started with the, the filamentary nebula. And then I've changed targets through the imaging session as I got several technical problems that I never got before. Out of focus, it didn't want to do the uh, live stacking and also errors regarding the dark frames. Or I believe it's related probably to the latest uh, upgrades. So let's see what's new here as uh, we get constant upgrades. Let me go to focus first because I know there was some problem with it. Okay, so it failed. No clouds or obstruction. If autofocus fails, here is the solution from Dwarf Lab. Be sure that you uh, do your upgrades. Keep up with that. And you can uh, focus manually and update the autofocus position. Enter that number. Just don't forget to click update. Okay, so now I'm looking at the EQ mode. It's this new graphics. And it's showing the new 3D instructions, which is pretty cool. So it's easier to understand, especially if you uh, don't have too much experience with equatorial mode. Um, it's very specific and shows the angles that you have to move it. So this is definitely a great improvement. And I am doing this uh, live, this uh, equatorial mode alignment and let's see so i got it excellent alignment achieved but then it has the option to be more precise um, and it's to fine tune your device which is new uh, but i really don't want to do that right now <laughs> so i am going to decline The next setting that it's important to look is the auto parameter. And what it does is that it sets automatically the exposure time to 15 seconds. I really don't like that, so I disable it. Now a quick look at the settings and nothing has changed here. Stack, fits, 4K, uh, mandatory calibration on. And so I'll just go ahead and start this imaging session for the filamentary nebula. But I pretty quick noticed that it's not doing the um, live stacking. Not only problems with the live stacking, also it went back to the auto parameter 15 seconds. So I don't want that. Another unexpected situation is that uh, I have to take the darts again as it's showing that it has a different temperature. I have done this many times. So I just go in ahead and put the ND filter without moving the telescope. So it will take about 10 minutes to finish the entire process. Okay, so I am ready to go for the Dumbbell Nebula, even though that I know uh, it's a small target on the Dwarf 3, but let's see how it looks. Um, I took again the dark frames <laughs> for the 60-60, so shutter speed 60. There it is, the little thing. <laughs> It's a little kooky, but uh, that's okay. I want to see what happens. Been saved there, but it doesn't want to do the stacking. So this is another tutorial. I need to check on the album and see what is going on. And also, I would like to check on the firmware. While the imaging session is running, I want to go ahead and check uh, on the homepage under settings and see if there is a new upgrade uh, to be done, but it doesn't look like that. Back to the session and let's see, um, let's go check again the parameters, especially it's with the stacked, uh, it's on and everything looks good. So I don't know why it's not stacking. We will find out soon. It's definitely not stacking because it's showing as just one image stacked. I know it's not stacking, but I am in the middle of an imaging session. So what is the next step I can do? Well, just take a quick look on the album to go here and check on my album, the photo album. This is what I was trying to do last night. 
Let me just click on the first one, and this is just uh, one image of the filamentary nebula, which we can barely see it there. But what I want to show here is that it only stacked three, and I, I couldn't see really more. So now I am actually seeing that it's stacking some images. Let's see the second one here. And I'm going to click on the information. And this one only stacked one. So this is inconsistent problems that I had last night. Let me go here. Now I was already trying to do the uh, Dumbbell Nebula. And I'm going to click here on the information and see what it says. And this one, it's telling me stack 68. Okay, so yeah, so now I have 68 stacked on the Dumbbell Nebula. So the live stacking didn't work, but then on the uh, album, it showed that it stacked 68 and I was able to get that image. Actually, this one, in my opinion, looks much better. And now I want to do a star removal. Okay. <laughs> well, this is pretty bad, actually. Very good. So I have pretty much everything figured out, but this problem here with the, <laughs> the star removal, and I've been looking for information on this. We contacted Dwarf Lab to comment, but they don't have an answer yet. Stay tuned. Well, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, don't forget to leave your comments. And if this happened to you or any of these errors and what was the solution, that you can write it here. And I'll be sure that everybody can see it as these are unexpected things that happen. I hate when this happens in the middle of the night, especially on the only clear night that I have for weeks but we have to learn it's such a small device and it does a lot of amazing things thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel click like and also take a look at my uh, membership program if you want to know about more of my editing process just please join my membership program and in this program, I provide lots of tutorials with uh, PDF documents of all the steps for PixInsight and soon for Cyril and SETI Astro Suite, uh, especially those cheat sheets. <laughs>